Can we? Yes. Together. Good morning, Trailblazers. Oh, good morning, Trailblazers. Good morning, and welcome to our very first SSYRA Book Talk of the 23-24 school year. I would like to thank my co-host, Mrs. King, today. Thank you, Ms. And well, you're welcome. Thank you for being with us. And we have our group of students who have read Butter with Butter this year. Ms. Keene has a special announcement. I do. A very big special shout out goes to Acadia. She has read 12 out of the 15 SSYRA books, and I think she met her SSYRA she goal. Her SSYRA goal. We now have two students this year who are already eligible for the special field trip at the end of the school year. That's incredible. More information to come on that. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get started. So, um, we're talking today about Better with Butter by Victoria Piontek, um, and this is a story about Marvel. She is a 12-year-old girl who suffers with a lot of anxiety. She's afraid of everything from getting food poisoning to going on amusement rides. But when Marvel comes across a group of 8th grade students who are teasing a baby goat, she rescues Butter and a loving bond immediately forms between the two of them. Oh, it's a really okay, good book right. if you haven't read it yet. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. And good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining us today. I'm going to get you started. Um, I want to first off ask you if you like the book. You're going to give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or sideways thumb. So, did everybody like the book? All right, so mostly everybody did. A couple of sideways. All right, so in the story, Marvel has a lot of anxiety. I know that as I was reading the story, there were times when I really could feel that anxiety. Um, did you feel that the author made Marvel's anxiety relatable to you? And if so, raise your hand. All right. Um, Audrey, how, what was one thing that maybe you thought, you, when you read it, you thought, oh, I could, I could feel that anxiety? When she froze up on stage, yeah. Anybody else? Okay, Lucy, you want to pass it over to Lucy? Great. I felt her connection with Butter. Good, okay. I definitely feel a connection with my dog. Oh, good, okay. All right, so any other times that you were reading the story and you kind of felt that, that anxiety rise? Okay, Faith Murray? I felt it because my grandma passed away a couple of days ago. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, so that was probably a good book to read, wasn't it? If you could get into that character and feel some of those feelings. All right. Um, and I'm going to pass it over to Ms. Keemer. All right. Question number two. Marvel rose above her fear when she saw that the baby goat was being teased by the older students. What does that say about Marvel's personality versus her anxiety? All right. Emily? Um, it means that she still has a little bit of bright bravery, even though she is really anxious and lots of different things. Nice. Okay, Grant? She took my answer. Well, <laughs> That's yeah, my okay. answer. Okay, so expand on that. How did she, what did she have to do to, did she even think about what she was doing? No, she just went right away to try to, like, save Butter from the, like, eighth graders. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like she's very brave. She was very brave. Ready? When she saw an animal in distress, she was, um, saved it because cuteness over anxiety. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. Cuteness over anxiety. All right. So Marvel finds that having butter in her life makes everything better. Why do you think that butter made her life better? All right. Let's go with Ethan first. Um, because like. Um, like it would be like like good to like have somebody related to you like s like scared of some things mm-hmm yeah all right and then we'll pass it around okay go. um I think it was good for her because she had somebody to like kind of like relate to and like somebody who had it like kind of had anxiety and um I think that kind of helped her yeah, all right back row whoever has the microphone in the back 
start? Um, she, like, the goat kind of has anxiety because when it gets, it's scared of, like, a lot of things. And when it gets scared, it, like, freezes up, kind of like Marvel. Mm-hmm. All right. I think Lucy, if you want to pass it to Lucy, yeah, go ahead. We'll just pass it um, like, so she could have, like, a friend around. Because she can, like, relate, because, um, because she feels scared sometimes, too. She felt a connection, like, they acted the same ways when they had certain fears. And then, and then did she also have to take care of the... She all, I felt like too, like she really, she saw that the goat couldn't take care of herself too, and she kind of had to step in and, and do some of that. All right. All right, question number four. Because of Marvel's anxiety, the students in the play were asked to play different parts than they wanted. How would that make you feel if you were Marvel? Freddie, you want to start? Uh, okay. <laughs> um, like, if they sometimes like if you don't like get the part that you want you may feel like sad or you wanted a different part kind of like the play that we have if you didn't want the part like if we like the christmas play that's coming up for third graders imagine if you pick like jingle bell rock and you get Sparkle, jolly, twinkle, jingly, and you won't know the words to that one very much. You could like mess up the whole entire play. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. She probably felt a little angry because, like, she didn't get the part that she wanted. Yeah. Okay. Alright. How about. Oh, how did Marvel change from the beginning of the book? to the end uh, at the end of the book she felt more like content and she wasn't as afraid because she knew that she had like somebody to help her okay. Okay, pass down. Uh, at the beginning she was scared and uh, when butter came along it wiped some of her fears away and then she got friends, and that <laughs> killed even more of her anxiety. Like, at the beginning, she has, like, her anxiety, but when she's really scared to, like, go on the bus to see Butter, she still does it for Butter, because that's how much she cares about Butter. That's how much she helps her. Um, like at the beginning she was like really scared and at the end she felt like more safe with butter in the beginning she um, she had a lot of fears that took over a lot of her time and she it took up a lot of her and you know like yeah, and then in the end, Butter was like, Butter was like, what is it called? A support animal? Butter was like um, a support animal. Oh yeah, emotional support animal. And then she felt a lot calmer and she felt like she could do more in the end. And like if you have any friends, that'll make you feel better because if you were like sad and you didn't want to do anything and if a friend came over, like Audrey, and if she came over to me and if I was sad, that would make me feel happy. All right, the next <coughs> question. Um, where are we? Which character do you feel like you can identify with the most? Back row, go ahead. Um, I feel like I can connect with Butter. When I was little, when, it, um, 
whenever I got scared, I used to run to my mom, like most kids. And I just know how it feels, and it does not feel good. Uh, I can relate to Theo the most because I w really want to be the villain in most plays. And if I get something like a farm worker, I'll be really sad. I can relate to Butter the most because sometimes I, I'm nervous and I and sometimes I feel like I have a little bit of anxiety, so. Like, kind of like relating to Butter, yeah, kind of like what she said, it would make me feel happy because Butter is really nice and friendly. And if, um, I feel like Butter because like sometimes I cough sometimes around like dust and stuff because I'm allergic to it, and it, like it's kind of like anxiety. It's like butter. All right. So, would your parents be okay if you brought home a fainting goat? No. 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 No, no. 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 no way. If I convince them, my cat would like probably ride it. Yeah. Because, like, for Christmas, me and my mom and my dad, my dad doesn't really want it, but we were going to get a teacup puppy for Christmas, but then my dad doesn't really want it. He wants a big, rough dog. <laughs> I can understand that. And if my parents wouldn't even let me bring a goat back to my house. We have um, a puppy, and she's like super energetic. So if we, if I brought home a fainting goat, then she would probably get like really scared like right away. Like she would not feel like at all comfortable. All right. All right. So the last question: Would you recommend this book to other students? Yes. Yes. It's a great book. Anybody want to tell us why? Why would you recommend it? What do you think? Because if you have like stage fright, it can help you know that like if you have stage fright, you can get over it. It doesn't mean you have to be stuck. You can just move on and find another way. And like. I think I recommend it because it can like help people with their anxiety because like it shows like if you like sometimes how ridiculous it can get um if you have stage fright or anxiety or scared of something you can just convince your parents to bring a, a dog it gives you excuses to bring your pet to school <laughs> <laughs> Um, I recommend this book because I found it very heartwarming and it was just nice to read. I like it because Miss Dylan told me one thing when I read the book. Uh, it made me a little emotional and when Miss Dylan told me, she was crying when she read the book. Anybody else? When Ashton told me about the book, well, I kind of wanted to read it because, like, because I wanted to get it that day when she told me about it, but I couldn't because I went home and checked, and this is why I read the book checked out. <laughs> well, I'm glad it was worth the wait. Well, thank you all thank so you. much for joining us today. The book was Better with Butter. Come on down to the Media Center if you haven't read it. Hopefully, we'll have a book turned in this afternoon. Um, our next book talk will be Friday, November the 3rd, and we will be talking about good dogs on a bad oh. day. Have a great day, Have a great day, everybody. Bye. Bye.